Alright, Gov. Want to buy a watch? Completely legit. Buy one, get one free, Gov. Okay, it's a bit extreme, but you know where I'm coming from, right? If your customer base likes buying dodgy gear, then this really isn't for you. Off you go. Oh, you're still here? How important is trust? Well, let's just say it's right up there with the rest, such as price, quality and brand. In fact, it's even higher. People might love your product. They might be tempted by your amazing bog off, buy one, get one free deals. But if they think that you're a bit shady, then they won't be reaching for their wallet anytime soon. They'll be the ones that will bog off. Now, the great thing about the internet is that it, enab it enables small businesses like yours to compete on the same playing field as the big multinationals. So even the smallest business can reach their mass market quickly and cost effectively thanks to the internet. But there's one big difference. The big multinationals will have spent a huge amount on building their brands and with it the perception of trust. They've probably spent millions of pounds building their brands. Look at McDonald's, Tesco, Apple. They've got a lot of money behind them. Can you compete with that? No, of course you can't. Customers who haven't heard of you before will be thinking to themselves, trust you, why should I? But big or small, you can still compete on level terms when it comes to trust. So, okay, let's get back to your website. A visitor lands on your website. She's had a look around. She's interested in your product. It's the right price and it solves her problem. She's very tempted. Well, if she's got this far, then congratulations, your website is in working order. But that's not the end of the story, however. She's got one huge obstacle in a way. She hasn't used you before. She doesn't trust you, and you've not demonstrated that you're a trustworthy worthy business. Bam, the sales lost. You failed at the final, most important stage. Without trust, there are no conversions, no customers, no sales. So it's a big deal. As soon as your users feel that they can't trust you, anxiety levels increase and so will friction. And as a result, motivation to buy decreases, not by a little bit, but by a lot. Okay, so you get the message. Let's have a look at some really easy but proven ways of building trust on your website. Number one, testimonials and reviews. The chances are that you've got some really nice things said about you, your business or your product. Don't sit on them, put them on your website. But don't just put them anywhere though. Think strategically, put them where they belong, towards the end of your sales funnel where your customers are looking for those trust signals. Number two, certificates, accreditations and awards. Have you been given an award because your widgets are the world's best? Are you a member of the Society of Fantastic Customer Service? They probably look great in your office, but don't forget they also look good and build trust on your website too. Number three, SSL certificates. If you're making any financial transactions, then make sure your site is secure. These certificates cost no more than £20 a year and show that your customers that you're serious about their security. Number four, show your face. Even if you're not graced with stunning looks just like myself, people are very, very influenced by faces, especially if they can see who's behind a business. Number five, multiple contact details. Give people the option to get in touch with you in the way that they're most comfortable with. Don't make it look as if you're hiding behind a website. If it's appropriate, display your phone number, address and other contact details on every single page. Especially important if you're selling something via your website. In addition, put links to your social media pages on every page. There's a lot of people out there who find social media the most comfortable platform to get in touch with you. Tell them 
that you're comfortable communicating with them whichever way they want to get in touch with you. Number six, client logos. If you've ever done some work for a well-known company, then display their logos on your website. Of course, you'll need to do this with the company's consent, but unless the job was confidential, chances are they'll be happy for you to do this and it's building their brand as well. Number seven, check your spelling and grammar. I don't know about you, but if I visit a website that's full of typos, it gives me a really bad impression of the business that's going on behind the scenes. I know we shouldn't judge people just because their spelling isn't 100% perfect, but there's many, many people out there who will be negatively, in, negatively influenced by the fact that you've littered your website with typos. If you're not confident about your spelling, get someone in who is. It makes a huge difference. Number eight, talking about words, let's have a look at the words they're using on, the, on your website. Do they yell at you, trust me? If they don't, then think about introducing some trust inspiring words and phrases that will do the job. Here's some you can craft into your content. Best selling. This one's good, but only if it's true and you might need to prove it. Certified shows that you've uh, that someone else has trusted you. Dependable. Fact or factual. Facts will always be stronger than opinions. Guarantee. Always a powerful word. word. Genuine. Help. You're on their side and you're willing to solve their problem. Honest, this one speaks for itself. Money back. I don't know about you, but I like the idea of getting my money back if I don't like something. It makes me feel more comfortable. No obligation. Most people are scared of being obliged to do something. Proof. Research. Same as the word fact. You can back yourself up with genuine research. Secure. Satisfaction. We all want a bit of satisfaction, right? You, probably the most influential word in the English language. And on to number nine, demonstrate your expertise, write blogs, resources, downloadable white papers without having to subscribe. Another helpful content. Don't use these to sell, use them to teach and inform. And lastly, number 10, professional looking website. If you want to inspire trust, then you need to have a website that portrays trust. If you're not sure of your design skills, then leave the design of your website in the hands of someone who does. So there you go. 10 ways that you can build trust on your website. There's many other more subtle ways of building trust online, but these 10 are the ones that will make the biggest difference. Trust me, I'm an expert. <laughs>